invoke deities to chase Igbo's out of Lagos. Tinubu's wife's statement trends and made ongoing demolition. They claim that the Lagos state government is targeting and demolishing properties belonging to Igbo's have led to the resurfacing of a controversial statement by President Bola Tinubu's wife, Remy. In a video, the first lady clap in Akara attire, clad in Akara attire with a scarf to match, boasted that the deities of Lagos would be summoned to drive out the Igbos out of Lagos state. She was in the company of other individuals who were laughing in the video. The video, which was short in 2019, according to Daily Trust Fat Check team, is citing comfortably with many Nigerians today who believe the ongoing demolition in Lagos State is targeted at the Igbo so they would leave the state. The transcripts of Remy's comments in the video reads, The Igbos residing in Lagos are proving difficult despite the love shown to them. We will entreat all the we will entreat all the deities of Lagos to chase Igbo people out. Igbos who don't marry Yoruba. We will inherit them. Given how much we love Igbo, you now want to spoil everything. You are not the only tribe in this place. Ausa are here. We accommodate them. The Calabar are here. We accommodate them. But Igbo are proving difficult. We will inherit you. Despite the love we have for you. Others are here. And we accommodated them. Meanwhile, Reno Mokri has said, It is extremely ungrateful for anyone to accuse the Lagos state government of demolishing their houses just because they are Igbos. In another news headline, the APIS Igbo Social Cultural Organization, organizing Igbo, has urged Igbos residing in Lagos State to consider relocating to relocating their investment to, to the southeast. Organizers said, cities like Aba, Abakeleke, and Onicha have imminent potential for growth, hence Igbo should consider investing in these areas. A statement by the functional secretary general of Oranese, Okechiku Isiaguzoro, reads partly, Oranese Ndibu encourages Igbos to seize the moment as an opportunity to, to re reason or resent their investments and consider relocating them to the eastern region. Our vibrant cities such as Aba, Abakeleke, and Onicha offer eminent potential for growth and development by investing and building international markets. In these areas, we can create prosperous economic hubs that will benefit not only the Igbo people but also contribute to the overall development of Nigeria. Organizing the Igbo course on all Igbo residents in Lagos to come together and support one another during this challenging period. Together we can navigate through these difficulties and forge a brighter future for ourselves and generations to come. Well, Nigerians have reacted to this, so. but she has not presented any of her daughter for say. Igbos will appear, evoking deities and proclaiming to be born again, and a pastor is contradictory. Which one should we believe you, you, prof you prophesies? Only last weekend, the Oba of Benin told Governor Sangwolu, who himself is from Ijebu, not Lagos, in no mistake, Thames and the Oba of Lagos, had some time ago admitted this fact that Bini founded or owned Lagos, so Remy should shut up. 
those who love oppression and violence will be rewarded with the same. If he thinks she has Niger in her palms, <laughs> sorry for what is ahead. Noted we heard you, we heard it clearly. The wife of the president of Nigeria, President Exhibition, Claire Triber hated. What then will the common citizens do concerning Nigerian ideal of unity and diversity? Igbos, ECT, we're in Lagos as Nigerian capital, not because it is Yoruba land. Today, Igbos are in Abuja too. Is there any collective tribal crime that will warrant open discriminations against Igbos? who are legitimately in Lagos like other Nigerians anyway. Anywhere, Igbos are never the criminal, the bandits, the terrorists, non-killer herdsmen. Go ahead, we are ready to go. Nigerians should allow Igbos to be theirs. We will never be afraid. Igbos had nothing after the war, but today we are the pillar that hold Nigeria to f not to fall. This Lagos state you are talking about without Igbos, can Lagos be a commercial city where they develop? Don't worry, yourself, soon or later, God will do it for us. Okay, guys, these are reactions, you know, from Nigerians who have reacted to this, as you can see. It's a really very painful situation, you know, the demolition and all that. The Igbos are now seeing it like they are sending a, a very strong message to them. Leave our state. You can record that during uh, the governorship election and the the primary the, the the presidential election. So many things happened, even to the extent that Igbos were threatened to leave Lagos. Could it be that this is what they are trying to carry out now? Well, me I don't know. I beg, we do not get to talk. Make we hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section.